Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be taking a look at Linux support on the GBDP2 Max. Thankfully, so far, most everything is working just fine. We'll go ahead and power this on. And one big thing that I think everyone's going to be rejoicing about is, hooray, landscape support. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it because, you know, everyone that has been involved with GP products and trying to get other distributions on there, other things, Generally speaking, GPD always goes for portrait style screens, and we always have to fight with that because after install, you have to do it. Even for Windows, when you do a fresh install, you're going to have to uh, rotate that screen. But now it looks like they're just using a landscape screen by default, so very little that needs to be done outside of just get going. So brightness works. We can go all the way down, all the way up. Volume works. Wi-Fi is currently working. We'll go to Firefox. It just goes. Go ahead and quit this. Bluetooth is working, although I do have some uh, the same difficulty I always have whenever I use uh, Xbox One controllers connecting to Bluetooth, you always have to pass a parameter and want to get that into Grub. is just, it's always an extra step. So right now I'm just using an iPega controller, which I'll be showing later. Uh, the battery does just connect. It shows discharge, charging rates. Everything seems to be just fine. We are showing the correct resolution on this as well as running at the correct frequency. So everything is just kind of running. So there's very little that doesn't work. Everything seems to be operational. However, Sleep doesn't seem to be working correctly. So if I close this, the fan will never stop. There's a smudge here. And this will just kind of keep on going. So right now, out of the box, sleep isn't working, which is unfortunate. So we there is still some work that needs to be done. It, you know, successfully locks the screen, but it doesn't go to sleep. So that is that. We're kind of showing everything. I'm using the Wayland desk desktop environment. This is Fedora 30, what comes by default. I'm going to go ahead and show you Dolphin. This is the latest that I compiled. We are using the latest Vulkan as well, which I can show you right now. Yeah, Vulkan info. Will I have to grip version? If I could spell grep right. So we are 1.1.97 right there. Uh, Ready? let me go ahead and get the iPeg controller and we'll go ahead and show that off. <laughs> All right, now for this ridiculous setup. This is, I don't really recommend anyone <laughs> using this. It will hold on to it pretty decently uh, as because the it's thin enough so that it can get under the grip, but I don't really, that is kind of ridiculous to have <laughs> just a giant thing connected to controller. Go ahead and start. And Vulkan is recommended in these instances because OpenGL does run at half the speed. We are running asynchronous uh, shader compilation and we compile the shaders before start just to make, make everything as smooth as possible. There will be some hiccups here and there, especially when it's pretty crowded during the initial racing scene. But outside of that, once it gets through it, we kind of just, everything kind of runs just fine. Here's gonna be the biggest part where it's kind of not the best. On the top right, you can see the frames FPS. We are running at eight watt. This is not nothing for me to change. It's just what it is the default on the chipset. And this will be the same. Again, even though I am running the 8200Y, because people are going to have the 8100Y when they buy the P2 Max, uh, at 8 watt, you're going to see the exact same results as I'm getting right now. Should have really redid my button layout. So fast.
So that's that. Um, we can see that hardware acceleration is running on the Intel GPU. Let me reformat this. So that's pretty much it. I mean, for the most part, everything does just work. Let me go to YouTube just so you can see some video playback from streaming sites. I'm still not certain I like these keys right here. Although the FN keys are where I expect them to be. So when you do FN colon, it actually is showing up to be pretty well. So uh, what are we going to do? Um, P2 max show what I've been doing just so that I don't encroach on anyone else's stuff. Higher resolutions, faster frame rates, more processing power, the best gaming experience. Hello, everyone. My name is Fox. This is going to be an unboxing. So that's it. Anyway, uh, everything, again, I did nothing. I literally just installed it. The only thing that doesn't work right now is sleep mode. Uh, that doesn't seem to be operating correctly, but everything else operates as you would expect it to, which again, I'm sure that it's gonna get fixed rather fast. Uh, the other good thing is that GPD does now list the model on this. So when people are looking for stuff, it's not just gonna say default string anymore. It does say default string twice, but it does say uh, GPD P2 Max now. So at least when people are targeting this device for fixes, it'll be a little bit easier. Anywho, that is the P2 Max. This is a quick look with Linux. Thanks for watching.